Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking quickly about the possibility for some severe weather across parts of England and Wales during this evening. Now this is a quick graphic that I made and put on my Twitter which I'm going to use for reference through this video. The main area of interest is this red zone here. We've got the highest risk of thunderstorms sorry, and also the chance for isolated tornadoes and strong wind gusts which I'm going to explain shortly. Uh, in black we have the conditional extension of this tornado risk and also in blue we have the general region at risk for thundery rain and possibly strong wind gusts. This is the accompanying lightning forecast and as you can see, the highest risk of lightning is across the southeast of England. The current water vapour satellite imagery indicates a small mid-level low across the southwest with uh, an associated trough axis extending, extending sorry, southwards like that, where we have the contrast of the more moister white and green colours with the drier blue colours. And that's supported if you take a look at the GFS mid-level wind chart, which shows the uh, trough axis like that, where the ice bars are curving together and also uh, divergence ahead of that trough um, and divergence leads to uh, vertical motion and lift and that's because the air spreading apart there's a gap and the air at the surface rushes to fill that gap and as a result you have vertical motion which is giving rise to um, rain uh, across the southwest and also now convection starting to develop we've got those specks of brighter colors you can see across the southwest and in the channel and that's due to the fact we have uh, instability now it's not a lot as you can see here and it's quite patchy but the row model indicates a few hundred joules per kilogram of cape ahead of this upper level trough and that's going to move generally inland through the next few hours it's possible we get the highest values in this region of the southwest and as storms interact with this zone here they like to move inland uh, not being super active but still enough that we're going to see a lightning risk in this zone here and you can actually already see that starting to develop likely to have probably a surface convergence zone somewhere in here which is causing these storms to form in line and they're going to grow up scale and move in land as potentially thunderstorms. Now in terms of the severe weather risk the reason for that is because the same trough is bringing fairly strong uh, wind shear values. If I just take a random sounding here you can see that uh, the profile is well sheared can see the winds extending like that now it's quite straight so the risk of tornadoes is very very low but still it's there and also we're looking at the risk of strong wind gusts where those mid-level winds can be brought down to the surface by the instability and I mean 30 to 40 knots of mid-level shear is not too uh, shabby so some storm organization is possible and I reckon that's indicated quite nicely by the UKV model uh, this one earlier showing uh, some well-organized storms with a lightning risk across central southern England. Uh, also bringing the risk of strong wind gusts and locally and also to the west as well, especially here. The low level shear is a bit stronger and the uh, surface of a wind pattern may be able to enhance the low level shear just enough that you can get a tornado or two. And that's particularly likely, oh you can't annotate, that's particularly likely uh, just in this region of central southern England, the topography can sometimes play a part. So I really do want to emphasize the risk of tornadoes is very, very, very low. Uh, and where they do form, they will be very weak. But often in these types of setups in the autumn, you too, you can get a couple of spin-ups. And I thought I would just mention it. The biggest threat is this 60 mile hour wind gust. So don't be concerned. Uh, this is not too severe of a risk, but like you see thunderstorms tracking through the UK, bringing the risk of severe weather as that UKV run showed. So that's about it for this update. It was quite short. I just wanted to give, kind of make sure everyone knew what was going on. Thank you very much for watching if you did and have a good night. Bye bye.